I am so stoked about the Model Context Protocol, aka MCP. If you haven't checked this out, it's an open protocol that allows developers like you and me to add context into LLMs. And I love the way they describe it on their website as being like USB-C for AI applications, meaning that it's a standardized way that you can connect external data sources and tools into your AI models. And thanks to MCP, we now have a tool that lets you connect a Cloudflare worker into Claude Desktop or any other MCP client. But rather than tell you about it, I thought I'd just show you by building one on this video. So we're gonna go into terminal and the first thing we'll do is create our new worker. And we're gonna call this worker, workers MCP demo. It'll be a hello world worker and we're gonna use TypeScript. This will go through loading up all of our dependencies. And then it's gonna ask us, do we wanna use Git? It's always good to use Git. And then do we wanna deploy our application? We're gonna deploy it so that it's all ready to go when we need it. And there we have it, it's deployed. It's gonna wait for DNS to propagate. I'm gonna cancel that because we have a few more things to get done first. So we're gonna go into the folder we just created and we're gonna npm install workers MCP. This is our command line tool that helps you get your MCP server going. And once this installs, we can run mpx workers MCP setup. This will take care of all the setup for our MCP server. So the first thing it's gonna do is update our deploy script. It's confirming, yes, we will do that. Then it's creating a shared secret for us. Uh, it is updating our uh, types, and then it asks if it's okay to replace our index.ts, and we're gonna say yes. And now that this is happening, it's deploying, and it wants us to know what Claude Desktop wants to know this as. I'm just gonna leave it as workers MCP demo. And it tells us that it's updated our Claude configuration. I'm gonna open the code in my IDE so we can take a look. And you'll see this is a, a pretty small worker and it has this say hello function here with a comment. And this is what powers our MCP server. So it tells uh, Claude that this is a, a function that gives a friendly greeting from your worker's MCP server. It accepts a, a name and it returns a string with the contents of our greeting. So now we can jump into Claude and try this out. I'm gonna say, hey, it's Ricky, can you say hello from my workers MCP server. And it says we're gonna use the say hello function. It asks for permission. We'll allow for this chat and we can see the response. So it said hello from an MCP worker, Ricky. Uh, so now you can see how this interaction happens, but I wanna build something just slightly more complicated. And the way you do this is you first start with a comment and uh, the comment lets the MCP know what your function is gonna do. I'm gonna have a function that returns a random playing card. Uh, and then we say it returns string, name of a random playing card. Uh, thanks to the magic of cursor and Claude, it already wrote my function for me, but I actually don't love this function because it doesn't have the suit. So uh, I'm gonna add suits and uh, there we go, it did all of that for me after I caught that it didn't have suits. We will save this and we can uh, uh, deploy again. And now you'll see it's deploying with our git random card function. We say, give me a random playing card. It uses our MCP. I'm gonna allow for this chat and I got the eight of spades uh, from our MCP function. We can ask again and it'll ask uh, our MCP server again and it, this time it is the ace of hearts. I like this example, I know it's basic, but one of the, the challenges I have with LLMs is how sometimes the responses can be deterministic and so this lets us get a little more randomness in here. But before we wrap, I wanna show you one more thing that I think is really, really cool. It's in the repo. We have an examples folder and there's this one for image generation. And we can take this source 
I'm gonna copy this code and paste it into our index.ts file. This adds a new ability to generate an image. You can see that right here in the comment. It accepts a prompt. It can also accept steps. And this uses Workers AI with Flux1 Schnell to generate an image. We also need to add this to our configuration, like so, and update our bindings in Wrangler Toml to use Workers AI. So now that this is all done, we can deploy this and try it out in Claude. I'm gonna ask it to generate an image of a surfing Santa. And I like this example because Claude doesn't have an image gen built in by default, but thanks to workers, workers AI, our MCP server, we now can add this functionality. And you see it passed a prompt over about Santa Claus and it said it's gonna use eight steps. And then it's telling us it's generated a fun image of Santa. We can take a look at that. I love it. If you want to get started with this, you can go to github.com slash cloudflare slash workers dash MCP. I've had a ton of fun with this. I hope you have as much fun as I have. And please show us what you build on Discord, on X, on Blue Sky, in the comments on YouTube, wherever you can find us. We'd love to see what you build. Thanks a lot.